Hey guys, okay, we're gonna do this in less than five minutes. This is going to be a crash course and a quick start guide to plotting with Mad Max as well as pool plots with the new Chia. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go and download Chia. If you haven't done that yet, go ahead and go to this website that's in the description. Click download, click install. Once it installs, it's gonna come and ask you if you want to create a wallet. If you're first starting, you're gonna to have to create a wallet. You can go through that, uh, that whole thing by yourself. You just click next, next, next. Make sure to save those that phrase. And then once you log in, it's going to be uh, trying to sync with the database and the blockchain. This can take up to days for it to sync. So if this is the first time that you're installing it, then you're gonna to have to uh, wait for that to be synced. If you have an existing Chia install somewhere that's already synced, you can go ahead and grab the database file from that Chia install, which is in users, your username, .chia mainnet database. You can grab this file and copy it into the folder of your new install and it will automatically be synced. So you don't have to wait for it to be synced if you have an existing install. The next thing that we're gonna do is we need to make sure that our wallet is synced. So this takes uh, probably another day or so. For some people, it takes a while. You have to make sure that both the wallet is synced and your full node is synced before you proceed. The next step we're gonna do is we're going to wanna join a pool. The only way we can join a pool is if we get some Chia into our wallet. You need about 0 0.000001. I've sent uh, probably too much to this already. Um, and the way you do that is you navigate to this website. It's in the description below, faucetchia.net. You're going to click, I'm not a robot. You're gonna do the whole traffic light thing. And then you're gonna paste in your wallet address. So your wallet address is going to be, click on wallets, click on received address, copy to clipboard, paste it in here, click submit. It will then send you 0 0.00001 Chia. I have 0 0.09 for some reason. Uh, and then you're off to the races. So the next step we have to do is we're going to select a pool. Here is a list of the pools. You can select which pool you want to join. Some of them are not uh, the proper pooling protocol, which is like HPool, but uh, for this, I'm going to be using Space Pool. Space Pool is the one I'm using, so that's how we're going to do this. Navigate to the website of the pool of your choice. Click on how do I join. Most of them will be similar. Scroll down to the bottom and there's gonna be three or four geolocation URLs. Select your, your URL, North America, Control C, go back to your GUI, click on pool, click add a pool, connect to a pool, paste, and then you're gonna click create. Once that's created, uh, which I've already done, so we're not gonna do that, uh, this is what's gonna pop up. It'll take a few minutes to sync, but once it's synced, It'll say a name here, and this is what's gonna give you your contract address, which we're gonna be using a little bit later. Right now, we can go ahead already and click plots, and we wanna add a plot. Oh my goodness, I don't know what's going on here. Um, and we wanna click add a plot. So basically, this is just the default stuff. Uh, if you wanna learn how to do the plotting stuff, take a look at my other videos. So here we are, we're gonna click D drive, for this final directory, sounds cool. And then we're going to select the uh, pool that we have just um, basically added. So here we are, we're gonna click create, and boom, this uh, is starting to plot with the pool on it. If you wanna take a look at the process, you can click here and view log. This also has our pool contract address in it. So this is one of the addresses that we're going to need in order to uh, use Mad Max, which I suggest you use. So now this is plotting against a pool, um, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and download um, Mad Max Plotter. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and download the latest version of Mad Max Plotter. This is located in the description below. You can go here directly to the releases, select the Windows zip. You're going to extract this Windows zip into C Drive Mad Max. So we're gonna to go to C Drive Mad Max, and that's where we're going to be uh, having everything execute. Now that it's installed, all we have to do is type PowerShell into Windows, hit OK, and we're gonna to navigate to C Drive Mad Max. 
All right, we're in the directory of Mad Max. The first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to get our address. So the first thing we need is our contract address. So we're going to click on the Chia GUI. We're going to click on, uh, sorry, pool. We're going to hover over this little uh, icon here and copy to clipboard. That's our contract address. We're going to then take this and paste it into a notepad next to dash C. Second thing we need is our farmer pool key. Go here, back to your GUI, click keys, click the little I. It's going to pull up all of your keys here. And we're going to click, we're going to copy the farmer public key. Go back to our notepad, hit dash F space, and then we're going to paste in that farmer public key. That is all we need from the GUI. So now let's go ahead and type our first plotting for Mad Max. Dot slash chia underscore plot space dash n. This is the number of plots that you want it to, con to continuously go. Negative one means that it'll go forever. Or uh, in our case, we're just going to hit one because we only want one plot. Then you're going to paste in your contract address. So since we've already copied that, we're going to just go control C, right click, space. Then we're going to put in our farmer pool address. Control C, right click, space. Now we need the two, uh, we need our temporary directory one, which is dash T. In our case, we're going to be using D drive for our temporary directory one. Then our temporary directory two, uh, we're going to be using the same drive just because uh, that's what we're doing right now. As simple and basic as we can. Then we want to, to uh, find our destination drive, which is dash D. And that is going to be in our D drive slash complete. The next thing is we're going to go space dash R, which is the number of threads of your computer that you want to use. I have eight cores, so I'm going to be using all eight cores to do this. Then we're going to hit space dash U and 256. Uh, dash U is for buckets and 256 is the default. I suggest you leave it at that. Uh, you can fiddle around with 128 or 512. 256 seems to be the uh, consensus uh, best. Now we're going to hit enter and it's starting to plot. You have everything you need. It's going to go to the D drive complete. The last thing you need to check in, in Chia is we need to make sure that the Chia has our plot directory. So we're going to go back to the GUI, click plots. We're going to click on this three ellipse here, click add plot directory and make sure that our D drive complete is in this plot directory. Otherwise it won't pick it up. That's, that's that. That's as fast as I can do it. Uh, once you get plots generated into your uh, location here, your plot location, it's going to say you have one plot in this uh, pool and you're off to the races. I hope this helped you get through the basics and get through it fast. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.